Hi everyone, good day. Today I would like to talk about goods and services test accounting. Learning objectives, upon completion of this lecture, you should be able to outline the basic features of TST. Understanding the source documents, recording double entries. Goods and services tax, features of GST, uh, tax on the supplies of most goods and services. Malaysia has rate, GST rate is 6%. Buyer, consumers bears the cost of GST. Seller collects GST to pay the tax office. Features of GST, GST is 6%. Manufacturers, they bought raw materials to manufacture goods. So they bought, when they bought raw materials, they have to pay GST. That GST can be claimed back when they sell these manufacturers' goods to their wholesalers. The wholesalers also sell to their retailers. Retailers, they sell to the consumers. And wholesalers, they can claim back GST, and also retailers also can claim back GST. Only customers have to pay 6% GST for their, con for their consuming goods and services. How to calculate GST? The price applies goods and services tax GST. The counter price is, let's say the counter price is RM1000 plus GST. Multiply the code price with GST is 6 percent. The code price RM1000 plus GST. Original price is the 1000. GST tax is the 6 percent. So to the selling price will be 1060. GST inclusive price. The price of the price shown on the source document of the business source document transaction. GST is inclusive. For example, total cost is the 1060. GST is 60 and the original cost of the goods and services is 1000. So altogether, selling price appear on the documents will be 1060. Some business transactions that are not subject to GST. What kind of transactions less land further? Any transactions that does not involve the supply of goods and services, and services are not subject to GSC. Let's call zero rate GSD. Examples: What are the examples of these kind of not subject to GSD? Wages and salaries, Commun commissions, bonus, etc., paid to the employees. Superannuation contributions on behalf of the employees. Payments of tax such as GST, income tax, payroll tax, etc. Continuations ab about GST, not subject to GST. Some more examples, let's learn about the some more transactions. Drawings of cash by the providers or owners for their personal use. Payment to creditors, receipts from debtors, loaned and loaned repayments. There are many basic consumer goods at zero rate GST in Malaysia. Recording of GST in accounts, there might be two accounts, GST collected account and GST paid account. GST collected account is the level account, GST paid account is the asset account. GST collected account is the liability accounts and represents the amount owed to the tax office for GST collected on sales. It is used to record GST collected and any adjustment relating to it. These are sales returns, allowances to customers, discounts given for prompt payment and debt debts regarding the credit customers. GST paid account is an asset account. Represents the futures rebate amount from the tax office to pay GST on business inputs. It is used to record GST paid and any adjustments relating to 
purchases returns, allowances given by supplier, discount receipt for bond payments, and goods taken for private personal owners used. Common types of business documents relating to GSDR, purchase order, delivery docket, tax invoice, adjustment note, check, remittance advice, receipt, point of sales daily summary, bank deposit slip, statement of account, point of sales receipt, tax invoice and bank statement. Entries in the accounting records, not all documents lead to entries into the records of accounting. Only those listed below are related to record, to be recorded. Tax invoice for credit transaction, adjustment note, check part for the check payment, and uh, receipt duplications for cash transaction. Point of sales, daily summary, and bank statement in which some transactions related to GSD are to be recorded in accounts. Purchase order. Purchase order is a form of written request for the supplies of goods and services. Purchase orders will include the following information, the descriptions of the goods and services, quantity of goods of the nature of the service required, the date of delivery and the estimated price, original copy of the purchase orders to be forwarded to the intended supplier. Duplicate copy is maintained by the customers for later references. Delivery docket or delivery notes. It is used when goods are to be delivered to the customer by some external party such as general carrier. The purpose of sending delivery docket is to verify the physical transfer of goods. Original copies is provided to the customer who received the goods. Duplicate copy is retained by the carrier who delivered the goods. Tax invoice. Tax invoice is the document of credit transactions. A tax invoice is a bill charging a customer for goods and goods or services supplied. It provides complete details of the transactions including the price of the goods and services. Original copy is forwarded to the buyer. Duplicate copy is retained by the sellers for later entries in their accounting. Adjustment note, a document that allows the customer a reduction in the original account charge for goods or services supplied. Circumstances that lead to adjustments include return of goods, reductions of the price of goods, following an overcharge, prompt payments discounts, refund of part of the price of goods or services, bad end, bad debts, sometimes owners taking or consuming, consuming goods from their inventory that do be adjusted. The adjustment note original copy is forwarded to the, sub, to the buyer, duplicate copy is retained by the sellers for later entries in the accounting records. Check and check part. Check part is an order made a bank to pay on demand a stipulated amount of money to the persons named on the check. Check books are printed by bank in standard form in standard form and consist two parts. Check part portion, uh, which includes the drawers, name of the drawers and check portion received by the payees. The name, the persons, organize, either organizations or persons to whom the check is made out, who will deposit it in the bank account. Check part is used as evidence of check payments. Remittance advice, a document, accompany a payment, setting out details of the amount paid. A great assistance to the payee, payee or sellers who received the payments from the drawers or buyer. 
received a document used to acknowledge the receipt of money. Most, business, most businesses do not issue a receipt unless specifically requested by the customer. Receipt are the cash transaction. Why we don't need to re reduce a receipt? In the case of the one, wine of sales, receipt, tax invoice that is automatically prepared by point of sale device for over the counter and credit card transactions. The original receipt is forwarded to the customer. Duplicate copy is retained by the sellers for the later entries in the accounting records. Point of sales daily summary. Point of sale daily summary is a record of the daily taken through a point of sales POS device, such as a cash register or point of sales computer terminal. Benefits of using point of sales device, devices. A daily summary is prepared and it is used as a basis for accounting entries and reconciling purposes. Provides a detailed breakdown of the amounts received from various sources, including cash sales, electronic farm transfer point of sales, and other credit card sales. A receipt tax invoice is automatically prepared from, for the customer through computer terminal. Bank Double Slip. Bank Double Slip is a document prepared when depositing cash or check in a bank account. The deposit slip presented to the bank when the deposit is made and used by the bank to record an increase in the account of the depositor. Deposit part or deposit slip retained by the business depositor as proof of the deposit. In circumstances where the bank does not require a deposit slip, a seller's receipt is provided as a record of the deposit. Statement of account. Statement of account is a monthly summary of transactions prepared by the supplier and sent to the customer. The purpose of preparing statement of account is to provide the customer with a complete summary of the trading transactions that have occurred in the past month and to highlight the total amount due at the end of the month. Point of sale receipt, tax invoice, is a document prepared by point of sale device and provided to the customers as an evidence of the transaction. Bank statement, a bank statement is prepared by the bank on a regular basis listing the transactions on the customer's account for a given period. Transactions revealed by the bank statement include electronic fund transfer transactions, right debit or standing order, automated payments from the business bank account, right credit, deposit made by the customers directly into the business bank account. Bank fees and charges, bank interest received, and interest on bank overdraft by the business. For the electronic fund transfer at the point of sales, EFTPOS, it is made when a business allows a customer to use a debit card or bank issued credit card, Visa and MasterCard, to purchase goods or services over the counter. The proceeds from these transactions are credited to the bank's account at the end of each day. The magic fees is charged to the business bank account monthly. Treated by the business as cash sales for the accounting purpose. Sales on other credit cards. Sales on other credit cards such as American Express, Diner Club, are treated as credit sales. The card providers do not normally settle account with the business until a number of days after the transitions occur. The card provides charge with margin fees and this fee is deducted from payments made by the card providers to the business. Credit card, such 
purchases are treated as credit purchases in the business's accounting records, regardless of the type of credit card used.